have the same need, right? We need more subcontractors or, or like, yeah. would you say that there's a bit of a shortage right right now? Or like, are you guys having a bit of a hard time finding subs for some, for some jobs? Absolutely. There's a shortage everywhere. And I would say, you know, there's a shortage of subcontractors. There's a shortage of manpower, mm -hmm. you know, so those companies themselves finding enough people to do the work. Um, but uh, it's that isn't necessarily a negative thing. That's a, there's oh. a ton of opportunities that come with that. Um, and I, I don't know that most companies know this, but because we're a large business, we are required by the government to give certain percentages of our work has to be subcontracted to small That's businesses. That's right. And I would say, and the RFPs vary a little bit, but not a whole lot off of this, anywhere from 20, 25, 26% of, of the total value of that contract has to be given to small businesses. So well, even if a company yeah. comes in and says, hey, we're, you know, we self-perform a ton of our work, it doesn't matter. They're still going to have to give that 20, 23, 24% to a small business. And that, by the way, is the minimum. So that's right. The actually. percentages are much higher than that. That's what we normally achieve. You know, our percentages are well over the 40 and oh, 50, yeah. 40 and 50% are, that are going to small businesses. So, now, Oh, uh, excellent point. Before we leave that point. Okay. So, you know, yeah. because construction is treated a little bit differently, right? You know, because so like larger prime contractors, SEIC, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, it, like they, they all have the same uh, percentage constraints. They have to give out a certain percentage of their work to small business, right? Right. Uh, four main categories. Uh, it's 8A, woman-owned, service-disabled veteran-owned, and mm -hmm. then um, what is the last one? Jeff Hub Zone, right? Okay. Those are the four main that, that get, get counted. Okay. So there's, there's a minimum. Construction, my theory is because there's so so much money that is run through these construction projects, it's almost expected to where prime construction companies like our RQ are almost expected to have a much higher percentage of small business participation because oh, yeah. there's there's a lot of dollars that, that flow through these construction projects that can really, really help, you know, and really spur a lot of small business growth. I mean, when it comes down to it, it's just a lot, it's a good pass through, right? And so yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, with that, would you say that if you had a bid, let's say you're going up for this piece of work, right? And you had your team together, and let's say you, you had a really, really healthy percentage of small businesses that, you know, that, that are on that particular bid versus, or now, uh, would you say that that's a differentiator between some of your competitors that might not have as, much, as many small businesses on their particular proposal? Do you think that that's something that might help our, you know, RQ actually win more federal contracts with more small businesses on your team? Is that how you look at it? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if that is, you know, a, a differentiator because I, I don't, don't I don't know that information um, that are okay. that our competitors have. Um, I do know that within certain regions, um, after we've been there for a while, we have really good subcontractors that are repeat. Oh. They want to work with us. And That's they the repeat. Come back. And there's there's the they, relationship stuff coming. Yeah, right. and so okay. yes, they come back every time. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and a lot of times they will flat out tell you, yes, you're getting an exclusive price. Wow. Excellent. You see, so, well, down to the, the relationships again, too. I mean, that's just, that's yeah. just what works. It's, it's, it, and it, it's, it, it always fascinates me too, Jeff, you know, because we're such a large industry. There were 600,000 plus companies within the federal space. Quick question. And now this is something that's going to go straight to the small businesses too. Do you only engage with small businesses that are registered in SAM.gov, or do you engage with other kinds of construction companies that are not registered as federal contractors? We engage with all. So oh. the government itself can't require you to be registered as a subcontractor in SAM. 